on today's episode of the K-Swap 240 presented by Turn 14 Distribution. It's time for final assembly of our K24, including showing you a few small but crucial steps to make this Type S oil pump install reliable. This is looking like a bit of a jigsaw puzzle, PT. <laughs> There is so much to put back on this motor. Are we gonna be able to do this, DB? Of course, it's one step at a time. Oh man, there's a lot, but yeah, I think. <laughs> it's a little intimidating to look at right now. Yeah, though, isn't it? I mean, with everything laid out, it does look like way more than it really is. It's just putting back the timing side on the motor and then putting the accessories on, so it shouldn't be that difficult. But the first thing we are gonna start off with is our Type S oil pump. So if you recall, this is our stock oil pump off the K24 and it has balance shaft. It's a huge unit. We could not use this because of oil pan clearances and we didn't want to use this because we wanted to go to the Type S oil pump. This is a common upgrade for a lot of K24 guys. Um, and the small item that you have to do is, there's, this is actually usually filled with metal. So you have to cut this out in order for it to clear and fit on to here properly, as you can see as such, to clear these bolts and whatnot. But first, there's this pesky little oil passage. I don't know, stud? It's a I, drain or a jet type it's an of thing. Orifice or yeah, whatever yeah, it is. Yeah. This actually has to be removed. If you don't remove this, you're gonna have low oil pressure. So I've got myself a Phillips head screw here, and we'll see if it'll tap into this. Oh yeah, it's already spinning, DP. Oh wow. Look at that, I didn't even grab it. Holy, yeah. that was pretty easy. Yeah, it's just wow. all the ring there. All right. So is our she's... hole tapped or not? And our hole is tapped. Oh, bonus. That is a bonus, because I really didn't want to have to tap anything no. in here. Got the Honda Bond again. It's coming in handy, and we're gonna need it. To put just enough on this bolt here which I think is an M8. And if you've got a different K24, this may not be threaded, so you might have to actually uh, tap it. Yeah, Eric from Levine Motorsports was saying, if you don't plug that, your motor will it's go kaboom in a hurry. Going with the classic uh, good and tight, tight uh, torque spec. Yeah. There we go, that's it. I don't wanna go too tight into aluminum. Key here is, not to drop the bolt into the engine. <laughs> That's really the only tip and advice I have for you here. The next step here is to bolt on the Type S windage tray. And usually you just have six bolts, but because we're putting on our Circuit Hero baffle, we need to use these studs that I had to put a bunch of Loctite on. And there are four of them. Last piece of the puzzle here is to tighten our Type S bolts down to, we said what, 16? 16 foot pounds? 16 foot pounds. So we've got that on, and now it's time for us to move on to maybe putting the baffle in. What do you think, DP? Let's do it. Here is our Track Tough front baffle. And uh, if you don't know what this does, go watch the previous video because we explained it in detail. So I'm gonna Cole's notes, it prevents oil from going up the cover and timing chain and starving your pickup in high G braking. Of course, make sure to torque everything down to spec here because if one of these bolts does come loose, it's pretty much goodbye to your motor. So these were nine foot pounds for reference. Check it out. I like to call this the Speed Academy version Circuit Hero Baffle. We made sure to add plenty of baffling around our pickup. And for good measure, we're gonna make sure to use a little bit of Loctite before putting the nuts on here because you can never be too safe. I knew I forgot something, come on. Of course, it's the chain. You wanna make sure that this chain is on before you tighten down your actual oil pump. So what I did now is it's actually pretty easy without the baffle, but because the baffle's in place, I just had to make a, a little bit of maneuvering here to get everything back into place and now we should be able to bolt this thing back in and we'll be good to go. So next up is just installing the guide and then we can move on to the tensioner. 
Ooh, one last click. And I think it's safe to say we have our whole oil pump setup done. Setting the timing isn't actually that difficult. What you wanna do is start off with the crank and make sure that it is at top dead center, which you can see there's two triangles here that should line up. And of course, you wanna make sure that your cylinder is actually top dead center. So we just stuck a screwdriver in here. You can see we're good there. Uh, cam wise, there are two marks here that you'll know. And what we did is there's pins in the back of the motor. We've actually already had this engine timed obviously before we took it uh, apart. So, but if you're doing this, you wanna make sure that these little, usually there's dowels there, but we just used uh, bolts to make sure that they're set and in time. And then you wanna grab the chain. And the chain will have a bunch of dark links which we're gonna line up here as such. So there we go. There's just a little bit of pressure on them, so they're not gonna want to jump right on. There you go, they're in place. Now we'll go to the bottom here, and it's really difficult to see, but there is a mark on this sprocket here right there it's just like a small little dot that needs to line up with this chain link here then we want to make sure that that lines up and you can see there's a ton of slack here but the tensioner will take that up if you're doing the timing one of the more crucial things is to replace the tensioner and we always like to use an oe honda one i'm gonna bolt that up and look at this they use a common tack yeah You'd think they'd have some type of fancy device, fancy little stopper or no. something, but no. It's a good old fashioned Good old tack. Honda going with a green thumbtack. I wonder if there was decisions about the color of the thumbtack or I it was just like, that. this is the cheapest one to buy or yeah. you open up a new one and there's an orange one in there. Who knows? Just leftovers from the boardroom, I'd say. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to tighten these down to our nine foot pounds. And there you go, that's kind of it. So as I said, not very difficult. We just have to pull the dowels in the back and pull the pin here, which I'm gonna do right now. Pull the food. Oh! oh. Should we skip a tooth anywhere? No, day? it looks like it's lined up there. Looks like we're lined up here. Fantastic. Well, it's time to install the front cover, which means cleaning off these mating surfaces on the motor and on the cover's backside. And uh, we'll use our trusty Honda Bond to seal this all up. Pete's done a thing, a controversial thing. I'm not sure how I feel about it and I'm not sure how you guys are gonna feel about it either. He's painted the cover black. And not just any black either, it's kind of a, almost a gloss black. Satin. Is it satin? That's correct. It's, it's, uh, it's a non-traditional approach to a Honda engine, I must say. How do you guys feel about it? Let us know in the comments section. Personally, I like the natural aluminum look or maybe a paint job with I couldn't the clean it up properly, so aluminum then aluminum I finish. was thinking I was gonna paint it silver, mm -hmm. but we didn't have the proper silver. Like, it always turns out what do I not have the stock? right shade mm. of silver. So I figured, you know what? Find, yeah. I, I, I'm just gonna go black, forget it. All right, well, we'll see the how The car has got the red and black theme, is you the, know? Is the valve cover being done black too? It is, yes. Okay, so it might all blend together. It'll, it'll look like a black well, waterfall maybe, happening maybe. there. You painted your pulleys and stuff black too, yeah. so. Anyway, let's... Uh, it's better than the shade of rust, which I is. think it was before. It is. And a lot of better. these things. So I'm just going to uh, lube these sur surfaces up. It's going to take a little bit of time. So uh, check back in when I'm done. Nice thin layer of Honda Bond on there. You don't need a lot of it. These are nice clean surfaces, so that should do the trick. Don't forget to put your uh, cam position trigger on there. And then you can slam the cover on. Hopefully without dropping it or kicking your bolts over or doing anything like that. We'll get this all lined up. Oh, there we go. Yeah. That's good. Oh, yeah. Coming in. Coming in for a little bit of help. There's one for you. Hot. And... Yeah. Oops. It's hard to do that and operate a camera, oh, no. isn't it? That's how much PT can't stand letting me work on oh, cars. I was just, Even I was when just he's behind the worried camera, you were going to take that there. silicone and go everywhere. Well, I kind of did, to be honest. 
So Pete was cleaning the heads up on all these bolts and I was putting them in the front cover and then he handed me two like this which have this thick middle section which functions like a dowel to position the cover properly. And I'd already filled most of the holes up so I had to kind of go back and figure out where these two live. They live in the bottom corners and they're pretty crucial because they get you nice and level to the top here. And they also let all your other bolt holes line up including these old ones for the old engine mount that we're not using anymore but we've plugged up with some bolts. So uh, note to selves and to yourselves if you're doing this job to uh, put these bottom two in first because they position the cover. You know what else we're missing? There's a uh, cover that Ooh, needs to go yes. here, DP. Timing chain cover. And guess what? You got something special for me? Ooh. K -tuned. K tuned ability goodness. I know. This so, is all like black and silver yes, theme going on I here like now. It. All right. Actually, you know what? I, I, I quite like the black front cover now that it's on. It's, uh, it's a different look, but it's clean. I, I think it's going to look good. All right, folks. It's time for more Honda Bond. Peter is still uh, banned from uh, RTVing uh, oil pans. He's on the no-fly list for that. These oil pans are nice. They've got kind of like a raised section around the bolt hole, so it kind of guides your application of the, the Honda Bond. And uh, once that's on, we'll flip the motor over and uh, throw the valve cover on. Done. Sealed to perfection. There it will be sealed. no leaks here, Peter. This thing was good to go. And we will turn this guy over carefully. I don't know why I'm being so careful because it can't go anywhere. But no, it can't. I'll line up the hole here. And now it's time for this hideous valve cover. Sigh. I think you've got another one coming from our buddy JP at Stripping Tech. I do. And I think I got my hands greasy, Peter. <laughs> I'm going to wrap it up anyway, though. I think this, this episode is a wrap. This thing is more or less back into a complete long block. We've got some accessories to put on. That'll happen next episode. And I'm guessing next episode, this might start to go back in the engine. Oh, no, we've got transmission work we've got to do. Oh, transmission work. I forgot about that. You got that whole detent deal to do on your, your ZF, right? Clutch. Oh, All that okay. jazz. Yes, All there's right. some work that needs to be I'm done. jumping ahead. I just want this thing to run already, Peter. Uh, we still have a couple things that need to get done. Okay, well, uh, stay tuned for lots more K-Swap S14 action. This thing will run soon-ish going to happen before I die of old age and before the summer's over, we promise. So let us know what you think of today's progress in the comment section and be sure to go to speedacademy.shop if you want to buy some hard parts that you've seen in this episode or other episodes or if you just want some swag. We sell t-shirts and hats and sweatshirts and all kinds of good stuff. Actually Pete just got us some new uh, air fresheners even so stay tuned for those to be on the shop soon. All right enough of that Peter let's call this one a wrap. <laughs>